Sissy Biggers and Plastics has made it possible for me to bring you behind the scenes at the 29th annual Food and Wine Classic in Aspen. I'm such a lucky girl right now. I'm standing next to a man who's serving up Iberico ham croquettes. Could be three of the best words put together. Could be. It is actually, yeah. Uh, Life-changing croquettes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to enjoy one of these. And show me, you got a squeeze bottle there. Squeeze bottle. Remember, when, remember when squeeze bottles were kind of a new thing? I mean, now it's just an essential thing. It's everywhere. It's definitely essential, especially for today. We have the saffron aioli that we're doing with the croquettes from Tavernita in Chicago. And we're just kind of utilizing plastics as much as we can in the restaurant, too. So, as a chef, plastic storage, plastic tools. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Plastic containers we store all our vegetables in, a lot of our herbs and uh, airtight plastic containers. We use a lot of Ziploc bags for some of the trim that's left over from some of the vegetables to save for staff meals. Um, we're using uh, cryovac bags, the resealable cryovac bags. We use the squeeze bottles, um, some plastic utensils, um, tasting spoons on the line, especially in the open kitchens that we, we work in, a lot of tasting spoons. Yeah, of course, yeah, tasting spoons, plastic, and then tell me about your recycling system at the restaurant, how you're keeping it sustainable Green. We're staying sustainable by recycling glass, uh, recycling plastics as much as we can. And how does plastics help you in your storage in the restaurant? Well, in storage, it's great because we can wash them and then you know stack them up and, and use them again. We put sauces in them, we put stocks in them, put the plastic lid on it, and, and it's in the cooler. So. You know, I think this is one of the really easy tips: is that using the same size plastic containers is so smart because they're stackable and storable. It's stackable, storable. They're easy to see. They're plastic and clear, so you can see what's inside them. You can yell at the cooks for not condensing, for leaving a little bit. Remember, we used to leave a little bit of the Kool-Aid in the refrigerator and Mommy used to yell at you. So that's what we're, we're trying to do. That. Oh, okay. So plastics, you know, you can get busted on the on the line. You get in a lot of trouble at Tavernita if you don't uh, condense your plastic containers. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.